Hello and welcome as we are ending the 11th day of December 2017. Hashtag crypto trading video. My name is Derek. Everything you do within your own risk and your own reward. Start off with a stock on the S&P 500 code ALGN. Align Technology Incorporated. Up almost 150% for the year. It is the number one gaining stock on the S&P 500 index, which means it is crushing 400 or 99 of them. It is at least defeating them. There's only three that have doubled so far this year. And the stock market has been very bullish this year to even add more to the situation. Now, as far as this code is concerned, this is the first time in which it has made a move down to the 18 average of lows. Of course, I don't trade within the stock market. I just thought it'd be a nice opening to talk about the greatest gain so far uh, achieved it is about 140%. Now let's move on to Bitcoin and for the year it's up and I'm not going to use percents because when they get to the areas of well over a thousand percent it's just easier to say about 16 times higher and the best stock is up a hundred and fifty percent and let me remind you although I haven't stated this much Alternate cryptocurrencies for the year, although you may not have thought so this summer, are actually outperforming Bitcoin in most circumstances. The majors, Dash, Litecoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. Well, you think Ethereum Classic? Oh yeah, I think it is. For sure, yeah. So many coins have had amazing, spectacular rallies this year against the uh, US dollar and now within the Bitcoin its trend analysis right now is in the situation of hyperbolic paranormal uh, parabolic hog wild uh, mania due for an up move yeah due for an up move and it's in paranoia I can't even say it just going up super, super high, super, super fast, OMG kind of movements. But within this previous period in here on this uh, three-day time frame, it's a, a bullish situation. The sellers aren't coming in yet. And notice the volume. I've talked about I need to see a large piece of volume to show me a top. This is consistent volume that is a little bit higher than this that just matches or is close to the September one. However, this is the Bitfinex site. I do expect when this thing is ready to top, expect volume to be around double or close to it than where our average volume candles would be at for today. And in the parabolic situation, now I can say it, expect uh no stop don't be surprised i don't know how far this will go but don't be surprised if it's 25 30 40 000 by christmas yeah i mean it's just incredible everything again is crashing against bitcoin that's priced in dollars that's not a cryptocurrency plain and simple today I barely took uh, any of my portfolio. It's a small fraction of my gains for today, rather. 0.061-ish or so Bitcoin to buy 54.1 ounces of silver. 54.2, basically 22 ounces plus a kilo. And it's just like, a, okay, whatever. It's the biggest, the most amount of silver I've ever bought at one time, just by a few ounces, but... And I'm thinking to myself, I'm just doing like a whatever play. If I just wanted to speculate, in, or not speculate, but uh, introduce myself into a code that I really like, that's what I might put into it. And of course, I'm accumulating silver with the intentions of buying much, much more later on. And when the mark message of the markets are changing, sometimes you have to pull back and say, okay, wait, wait, wait a second here. I got to adjust to the message of the market. 
Because when I was going back in the day when the silver ratio or the silver ratio, yes, with Bitcoin was breaking 150 into 200 and higher, considering that this thing could very easily get to a thousand and greater, well, it's done such. It's pretty much at a thousand now. It's actually greater than a thousand because silver is below $16 per ounce right now. And I didn't think that was going to happen until many months from now. And I also figured there's a decent chance silver would start at least a manipulated rally or a normal rally. I don't know what the best way to describe it as, but something where you'd start to see it go to 20, 22. Nothing too large, but enough where it wouldn't make it go quite up as much because it's not like, well, silver prices might stay as it floats, but it's not like Bitcoin price is going to break 10,000 and go higher this year. So Bitcoin prices did do that. And when we look at future price targets moving forward, the areas of like 40, 50 to 100,000, uh, as the likes of Mr. McAfee and uh, George uh, and to, well, just a lot of Bitcoin people who are very familiar with the situation talking about prices at six figures, 100,000, 200,000. It might be time to talk seriously about reaching these target levels in the upcoming several weeks and months. And we're talking about 75,000, 100, 200,000 kind of levels. And we're now talking about the ratio within silver. Let's try to analyze some um, uh, realistic uh, targets. And let's just assume that silver can at least make it to 20, just because I want to make this number as low as possible. So at $20 silver and Bitcoin prices, which to me should easily surpass 50,000, I would think, as we move forward, uh, that is that's making my level uh, increasing to about 2500 to 1 on a possible l uh, ratio to where uh, the uh, it could go to I still think there's a good chance it can come back to uh, enormously low levels but if the ratio gets out of hand like 5000 6000 10000 to 1 I I don't know how many ounces I'll have I, I it, it can't happen because I bought 54 ounces a little over that today and I barely bought anything at all. And the price of Bitcoin's at 16000 With the prices higher, most likely owning more Bitcoin because I do know how to outperform the market and I have been doing such very well. The amount that I'd be able to buy when I talk about those ratios at like 2000 plus would just be mind-boggling. Because when I'm talking about buying 10000 to 40000 ounces of silver later on next year, uh, packing up the car going to, I think, Ottawa or Montreal to get it. I I'm not kidding. That's something I'm seriously, realistically looking to do because the message of the market is allocating this to be a realistic situation for me. But, uh, yeah, I just, thought, just wanted to go over that. I thought it's uh, something worth noting, but very beautiful up move. Let's take a look next at Litecoin. It's... Uh, well, last I checked, 10, 15 minutes ago before I started this video, it was 250 bucks. Who knows where it's at now? And at 237 now, it's up about 50 times for the year so far. Maybe a little, but almost 100 times, 80 times since last year at this time or December of last year. But this is just magnificent how what we have seen after a decent size sideways consolidation pattern in here, how it's broken out of resistance. It's starting to become a little overextended, but it was also starting to be coming a little overextended back in April after it broke out up towards here as well. And it continued for some decent legs higher. And a lot of cryptos have done such. The volume after you've had a correctionary move that has come into place here is indication to me that this is a bullish start for a decent size move higher. And my indications were before this even got going back in the days when it was like 50, 60 bucks and I was very bullish on Litecoin for good reason as well, that most likely as we move into next year, I think there's a good chance maybe we could reach up to 1,000, 800 even. 
and then a hundred to whatever little bit above it might be support, which means two hundred would be a very two to three hundred is a strong buy zone that's next year, and five hundred plus is the strong sell zone. And I've been thinking now, what happens on this next move that we're seeing now? Because I think it's probably got a good chance of reaching four five hundred by the end of the year. And if that's your breakout rally point from this long consolidation range, I'm sure as heck not going to pick 1,100 as my upside target for the year. Now I'm going to be talking about two, three, four, five possible thousand dollars as my upside target for next year. And maybe developing a support level, maybe around 750. And it wouldn't surprise me to see anything like that happen where this thing does maybe move up to like around Christmas time or sometime into January. A rally up to about the 500, give or take. Uh, well, take maybe 175, meaning 425, and give a couple hundred up to 700, somewhere in that area. And then have a decent pullback to whatever degree, go sideways, and then just have another good rally, probably break over 1,000 break and then go to 2000 or so just have these sick moves but then have some big uh, brutal retracements where after going up large amounts maybe have like a 75 percent down move from like 2000 to like many hundred that's uh something i've been thinking about as we're moving forward it's always gonna be about adjusting to the message of the market and as i'm adjusting to this uh it has taken me a little bit off guard that it has reached 237 uh, or 250 even as fast as it has i'm enthusiastic and thrilled that it has now let's move on i don't want to make this too too long of a video i also want to cover the ethereum as well so let's put this crossing on with bitcoin because as i was talking about the two and a half minute warning this morning about failed move fast move and the pattern is looking beautiful and normally I don't like to have a lot of periods or a lot of candles shown, but I have no choice on this one. I need the daily time frame. And I want to look back at uh, the key range of the summer. So therefore, as it was moving on, the single 10 number was huge. And it's now just sur surpassed that by a little bit. But the significant fall level came down, breaking below that mark. And... Uh, then, of course, going sideways in here. It broke down below that support level that it had. Rallies quick back to the band in here. And then quickly thereafter, it's doing this. There's the earliest level I would expect the fast move to move towards with a, with the more likely projected level even closer to this previous level of resistance maybe up towards the, uh, even the 0 0.02 mark as, uh, but even 0 0.0175 as a resistance area level. And of course, as we move on, it wouldn't surprise me if this thing outperforms Bitcoin, breaks the resistance of this year and tests new areas of new highs. Now, if we take a look at this from the uh, three-day time frame going back to uh, 2016, we look at the rally in March, it's it's huge. So what kind of potential does it have? Well, if we move this up, it has already reached the equivalency of moving up to this point and a heck of a lot faster than it did. And I'm not too sure about its logarithmic numbers. Let me just take a look at that a little bit more clearly. And it does seem uh, legit to me. But I wouldn't be surprised again if it makes a move up towards here. And it's going to be very important for this to hold and stay above a key level. Now, normally, I would pick the last key resistance area. Normally. This isn't normality today, though. Because in here, this little band area is where I would normally expect it to say, yep, just stay above here. And that still, I guess, is the case. But I kind of wanted to see stay and hold above some higher level. And that's, of course, if it tops now. And then any type of move up to this point, maybe a retracement, even to where close to where it is now, 
I would like to see it stay and hold above, and I think there's a good chance in which it will. In the straight-up moonshots, there's always going to be news events, Lightning Network, who knows? This company's adopting Litecoin. That can just make this thing continue to go hog wild because right now, Bitcoin is in a parabolic state. And meanwhile, as it's doing such, Litecoin is having a mass, massive breakout. So that just shows even more explosive to what it's doing. And there's nothing stopping it for having a move that could just break this in like two, three, four, seven days. And maybe making a 2x, a 3x gain uh, above the previous level. Maybe even get close to 0.07 to 0.1 in the near term is in like the end of winter and I go outside I'm seeing snow for the first time I was watching on Sunday the end of a football game in the Buffalo and it was filled with snow and I don't live too far from Buffalo being on the north side of Lake Ontario and there was no snow whatsoever but the winter is starting and when the winter ends, this is going to be interesting, I think, how cryptos are going to move on. I want to do Ether now, so let me get to that and finish the video. And this thing is ready to pop. Uh, plain and simple. It's ready to go. I most, I most likely will be waking up in the morning and thinking I have no choice but to cover Ethereum on the two and a half minute warning. Because it's like 700 or it's like 680 of course everything you do is your own risk own reward but the pattern is super super strong right now oh great levels of previous resistance this area and then again at this area support recently holding that mark 18 average leaving it, breaking the short-term resistance that it's been dealing with. This is a situation where if you're ever looking for something to buy right now, if you're just getting in, you have Bitcoin, which is in its parabolic upstage with upside room potential, superior gains for the year. But all these other ones that I've shown and many others have already outperformed Bitcoin this year, making that an interesting situation. So if you're trying to decide, do I get into Bitcoin? Well, there's your reward and the risk. Again, it's always been there as far as these things can move up and down wildly. Those who have taken the risk so far, most, most of them have done very well. Of course, Litecoin, like I mentioned, early on in the breakout stages... But it's up decently from its $100 resistance level two and a half times. But this one is looking on the early stages that this thing could uh, reach one to 2,000 by the end of the year. And then who knows again in the next year, a lot of superior gains that look to follow. But Ethereum is very much in a bullish situation right now. And here we have Dash. This is a trend line I drew in a little while ago. And this thing looks ready to go for potentially big gains. We're supporting an upward resistance line that has been in play for the last several months. Definitely uh, more room uh, for upside potential. And finally, Vertcoin, VTC, which... Uh, after its nice last leg higher, notice the situation in which uh, it had. It had break and broke this level of resistance. Significant leg higher, resisting a little bit or correcting rather in here. And now it has uh, had some nice small gains above. This looks, looks like it might be ready for continuation of this leg higher. Maybe has the availability to come up towards the uh, $17 to $20 handle but a very bullish situation and yet another coin that has destroyed the price of bitcoin many of these alternate coins have and bitcoin has destroyed the number one coin in the s p 500 you'd be hard pressed to find even the lower cap stocks to have yearly gains better than bitcoin let alone those against some of these other 
cryptocurrency ones, when we compare low cap versus low cap, that is. All right, then. Thank you for tuning in to the longer video. On session for uh, tomorrow or for the 12th day of December, obviously the two and a half minute warning in the uh, morning. If there's any market news, chart news, I'll if I have something worth going over and I have time, I will do such. And uh, I want to continue on my next series, which is talking about volume, not volume, but volatility, profitability, probability, and uh, trading the lower market uh, exchanges. So have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.